Maiduguri, the capital city of Borno State and the headquarters of the Northeast Development Commission, became the first location of the Northeast Development Commission Emergency Free Healthcare Intervention Program. Based on its mandate given by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, to fast-track development in the Northeast, the Commission embarked on the emergency health intervention to provide immediate succor to the general populace and especially those who have suffered as a result of the ongoing insurgency in the region. In doing this, the Commission partnered with ProHealth International, Borno State Government, and the West African College of Surgeons. Thousands of patients turned up on a daily basis to access the much-needed care. On arrival at the Umaru Shehu Ultra Modern Hospital at Bulumkutu Meiduguri, the patients who were arranged in an orderly manner and on a first-come, first-served basis were issued consulting cards. Patients were then triaged by a team of nurses. Their blood pressure, pulse, and temperature were measured. Once the patients were screened and assessed, they were sent to the team of consulting doctors who attended to them one-on-one. -on -one. Children, women and men had the opportunity to lay out their various complaints to the team of practitioners. Based on their diagnosis, many of the patients were sent directly to the pharmacy for medication. Here they met a team of pharmacists who explained in detail how and when to take their medicines. A total number of 2,534 patients passed through the pharmacy. Other patients were sent to the laboratory where further investigations were carried out to determine the causes of their ill health. A total of 2,029 patients had laboratory investigations performed on them. Other patients benefited from the health and nutritional education unit of the program. Many malnourished children were provided with nutritional supplements, mosquito nets, and medicated soap. The dental team consisting of dental therapists, dental technologists, dental hygienists, and dental surgeons attended to 366 patients who had procedures performed. These ranged from scaling to polishing, tooth extractions, minor surgeries and fixation of dentures. It was a joy to see the smiles on the faces of so many patients. The eye care burden of the region was exemplified by the massive turnout of patients on a daily basis on this maiden outreach. Separated from the general patient populace and issued with eye cards, the patients were sent to the team of optometrists for screening, evaluation, and visual acuity tests. Those needing glasses were given, while others were sent to the ophthalmologists for surgery. A total number 
of 645 eye patients were seen and treated and 243 glasses were prescribed and dispensed by the optometrists. The eye surgery team performed a total number of 168 operations of which 160 were cataract extractions. For some patients who have been blind for 5 to 10 years, the Northeast Development Commission Emergency Health Intervention Program was truly an eye-opener. With the opening of the bandaged eyes post-operatively, many patients could not contain or hide their joy and appreciation to the Commission. The team of general and gynecological surgeons and surgical team from the West African College of Surgeons, the Borno State Government and ProHealth International performed a total of 98 surgeries. This ranged from simple lumpectomies, herniotomies and herniorraphies to more complex myomectomies and prostatectomies and several nephrolithomies. Two emergency caesarean sections were carried out. Both mothers were delivered of live, bouncing and healthy babies. The managing director of the Northeast Development Commission Al-Haji Mohammed G. Al-Ali and the Executive Director of Humanitarian Affairs Al-Haji Musa Yashi along with their team came to inspect and assess the maiden outreach of the Commission. After his tour the Managing Director brought the Chairman of the Commission Major General Paul C. Tafa retired the following day along with Hajia Asmau Mohammed, a member of the board of the commission. The secretary of the commission, Barrister Benjamin Wesley, and the honorable commissioner for health for Borno State, Dr. Salihu Kwaya Bura, also visited. The highlight of the visitation was the bringing of the Honorable Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Hajia Sadia Umar Farooq. By the Managing Director of the Northeast Development Commission, Al-Haji Mohammed G. Al-Kali, she was full of commendation to the Commission for embarking on the noble program. They all had these to say. This is a service to humanity and people are faced with different kind of health challenges and the government has uh, uh, deemed it fit to the Northeast Development Commission to come and offer this free medical outreach. So I'm very impressed and I'm very happy with what I have seen and uh, I think it's an exercise I will continue to, to be doing from time to time. Thank you very much for this and hope that there will be something that will be better to relieve, you know, the suffering, the pains, and for you people also to be strengthened for what you are doing. Thank you. Excellent, Thank you, excellent, Thank you, excellent. Thank you, Thank you very much for what you are doing. Well, what you have seen here today is very impressive, and uh, it almost covered all aspects of health. Uh, with the numbers we have seen here today, that means there is demand for this kind of services mm. across board. Yes, and we are very glad that uh, we intervene in this process. Yes, and uh, looking at what we have seen today here, and uh, talking to some of the patients, yeah. I know there are going to also be some future demand to intervene in these kind of areas. You know, people who operate in that space from Borno State who have assisted in one way or the other to make this collaboration a success. 
It is kudos to the Northeast Development Commission. Patients and their relatives were full of gratitude to God and the Northeast Development Commission for intervening to bring them much needed medical and surgical care at no cost to them. <laughs> Allah <laughs> all in all, a total number of 4,127 patients were attended to in the one-week medical outreach in Maiduguri, Borno State.